What if the future of humanity lies not in our hands but in our hearts, our artificial hearts? Ponder upon this for a moment. Picture this. A world where the human heart, the symbol of life and love, is no longer a ticking time bomb waiting to fail. In the medical field, the relevance of artificial hearts is growing exponentially. Why, you may ask? Well, heart diseases, they're on the rise, with an alarming rate of increase. The need for heart transplants is skyrocketing, but alas, the supply of donor hearts is woefully insufficient. This disparity has led to a surge in the development of artificial hearts. These marvels of modern technology, crafted with meticulous precision, are not just substitutes for our biological hearts. They're potential lifesavers, promising to extend the human lifespan, to give us more time to love, to live, to create, as we continue to advance, artificial hearts are becoming not just a medical marvel, but a beacon of hope for the future of humanity. The journey of artificial hearts is a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. The story of these life-saving devices began with early attempts that, though fraught with failures, laid the groundwork for the future. The 20th century saw a surge of interest in the field of artificial organs, with the heart being the primary focus. In the 1950s and 60s, pioneers like Dr. Willem Kolff and Dr. Tetsuzo Akutsu made significant strides. But it was Dr. Denton Cooley's successful implantation of a temporary artificial heart in 1969 that truly marked the beginning of a new era. This was a heart made of silicone rubber and plastic designed to maintain blood flow and sustain life for a short period. As we moved into the 1980s, the world was introduced to the first permanent artificial heart, the Yavik 7. Named after its inventor, Dr. Robert Jarvik, this device was a marvel of engineering, capable of completely replacing the function of a failing heart. But the Jarvik 7 had its limitations, with complications such as infection and stroke often associated with its use. Fast forward to the 21st century, and we find ourselves amidst a revolution in artificial heart technology. Companies like Karmat and Syncardia are leading the charge with their state-of-the-art bioprosthetics. The Karmat's artificial heart, for instance, is designed to mimic the action of a real heart as closely as possible, using biological materials and sensors to respond to the body's needs. Meanwhile, Syncardia's total artificial heart is the world's first and only FDA, Health Canada and CE approved total artificial heart, offering hope to patients with end-stage biventricular heart failure. Each of these advancements has been a step forward in our quest to replicate one of the body's most vital organs. We've come a long way from the early days of silicone and plastic, moving towards more biocompatible materials and smart designs that can adapt to a patient's physiological needs. From rudimentary mechanical devices to sophisticated bioprosthetics, the evolution of artificial hearts has been nothing short of remarkable. The potential of artificial hearts goes beyond just replacing a failing organ. Imagine a world where the number of people waiting for a heart transplant dwindles to nearly zero. A world where the quality of life for heart patients improves drastically. This is the world that artificial hearts can help create. These technological marvels not only promise to save lives, but they also present an opportunity to revolutionize healthcare as we know it. Picture a heart integrated with artificial intelligence and sensor technology. A heart that doesn't just beat, but that monitors, predicts and communicates providing doctors with real-time data to make informed decisions. Looking to the horizon, we can see a future where artificial hearts become the norm rather than the exception. A future where heart disease is no longer a leading cause of death but a thing of the past. In the grand scheme of things, artificial hearts may well be the key to unlocking a future where no one dies of heart disease.